Hi there, Robin here, and in this video, I am talking to you on the PDMIC 71 cardioid condenser microphone from Pile. This is a great way to get started in a condenser microphone if you're looking for something for your YouTube videos or for, let's say, gaming, or if you're just needing something because you want to have a more free handed style microphone for like Zoom meetings and stuff like that. I mean, anytime you don't want to be holding a microphone in your hand or you want to have one on your table, this might be a good way to go. Also, if you need microphones for your guests, if you're doing a talk show, uh, be it a podcast or a radio show, and uh, you just need some extra microphones. So let's take a closer look at what you get when you buy one of these microphones. So here we are. This is what the actual PDMIC 71 looks like without the actual cover on it. Uh, it's a standard condenser style microphone. Nothing dramatic going on. Uh, it uses an XLR cable to connect to it. It does run on phantom power from 9 to 48 volts. It'll get it going for you. Uh, it had, does have a gold color windscreen on top, cage on it and uh i'll be honest not my cup of tea i mean i prefer them to be silver but at the end of the day you are going to place the windscreen on top of it uh this is definitely going to take away the popping sound and the sharpness that you get off of your s's and t's so definitely better to always have this on uh, but to know a little bit more about these actual things now they're not super i mean i can't squeeze this but this actual mesh is to protect the microphone inside. If you dropped it, this is going to dent and it's going to dent because it's made soft enough to take a hit on the floor uh, and basically act like a bumper on your car. Uh, reduce the actual shock on the actual microphone. Now, I don't recommend you drop your microphones. I mean, that would be the worst case scenario, uh, but that's really what's going on here. Outside of that, it is all metal. Uh, everything you need to know about it is all manufactured inside, and it's pretty straightforward. I mean, I'm not going to buy this if I'm a professional singer or I'm working on singing in any sort of fashion, uh, just because I would probably want to have something a little bit better, uh, maybe two to three or four times the price. But remember, this is the most affordable brand-named condenser microphone you're probably going to buy out there. So what do you get when you buy this? Well... Of course, there's a microphone. There's what we were playing with before, which is the windscreen. And you're also going to get the shock mount basket. Now, this is amazing. They've actually made a shock mount basket completely out of plastic with the rubber bands on it. And I thought, oh, it's plastic. But you know what? Compared to a you know, very affordable metal basket, this is actually better. The plastic really gives a good squeeze on the connection points. And you don't have to be an expert on how to open and close it. You literally just take the microphone, push it through, job is done. I mean, it is solid in there uh, without having to do anything special about it. That is a real nice setup. Now, the cable that's in the box, I'm definitely not a big fan of. Uh, I don't really care. You, you know, free cables in the box are just that, free cables. If they're the right cable, then, you know, you did okay. Long term, these connectors are always going to fail. Uh, again, it's because it's very affordable. What happens, these open up in here, and they get a little wobbly and a little loose. But you should always get yourself a new XLR cable to hook this up. Uh, at the other end of this cable is, oddly enough a 3.5 stereo connection. Now, I think somehow they think this is going to work for computers, but this is never going to really work for a computer. So don't feel bad that this is the wrong cable. Most microphones that are, are out there, unless they actually tell you it's an XLR to XLR uh, in these price points, they tend to, for some reason, throw this cable in the box. I don't know why. This really should be an XLR to XLR cable uh, all the time. But Again, for the price point to spend another couple extra bucks, or if you already have an XLR cable, that's fine. But this is everything you get with it. Now, the audio that actually gets picked up on the microphone is pretty much focused in the front. Uh, that's important because uh, if you're using this at home and you don't have a studio set up and, and you're not in a, an extremely quiet, quiet place and you don't want to have to go through the, the trouble of running everything uh, through some sort of a noise filtering system just to get rid of all the background noise, uh, it's nice to have a microphone that's more focused on the front and very little off the backside. So that is what's happening here. So that does make it a really nice microphone to take home. Again, if I was gaming with it, I think this would be a great microphone, as you can tell by the actual voice that's coming across it right now. If you're using it for podcasting or just general video audio for yourself, you're going to do pretty good. I mean, if I had 
had a thousand dollar audio interface or a five hundred dollar audio interface, no, I would have spent a lot more money on my microphone. But if I'm toying around with you know an audio interface that costs a hundred dollars or less, or a mixer with a built-in audio interface in the hundred and fifty dollar less price point probably I would look at one of these. Again, if I was getting a microphone because I needed two or three extra ones on the table, this works out really well. If you need to buy three mics, but you only have a budget for one really good mic, well then go out and get yourself some of these. You'll enjoy it. Eventually you'll upgrade it, but that's the way it is with microphones. They're like shoes. You just feel like going out and buying more of them later on. Well, that's pretty much everything to talk about with this microphone here. Do I like it? I absolutely like it for talk and I like it for an add-on microphone. They work out really well when you're doing this type of, of use for the product where you're just basically talking into a microphone, recording it. Maybe you'll run a little noise filter in the back if you choose uh, and set up the gains uh, on something else. But it certainly works out really well. I'm very impressed that for the price, I, that's you know, you're going to get all of this out of it. Anyways, that wraps up this video. I hope this video helped you out in your buying decision today. Maybe we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.